Okay, we've got some issues with our um, formulas here. So this formula, if I click here, we'll enable editing. Um, what it's showing me is that we're multiplying hourly rate times hours and then hourly rate times overtime. But how we really need to set this formula up is to get this overtime multiplier in here somehow. So your first part's correct. And then we're going to do B3 times this cell. And I'm going to hit um, my F4 key to make that an absolute cell reference. Uh, and then times D3, which are, is our overtime hours amount. So here we're calculating our just regular hourly rate pay, which is our rate hourly rate times hours. And then here we're doing hourly rate times our overtime rate times our hours. So that is our formula that we want. And we use this absolute cell reference so that we can just copy straight down. Uh, that didn't change your amount any. Um, Huh, one of them changed. Oh, I know why this one didn't change because <laughs> there's no overtime calculated. It wouldn't have changed that one. So um, this is the formula we want and this, the ones uh, that did include overtime did change. So your withholding tax, same thing. We want this E18 to be an absolute cell reference. If we hit F4, it locks it in. And then we don't have to retype the formula. We can just copy it down. The numbers aren't going to change here but the formulas have changed and it makes it much easier. So here, same thing, I'm gonna make that H18, use my F4 key that puts the dollar signs around there, which means every time the formula is gonna to refer to this cell and only this cell. And then um, if I copy down, it doesn't change the numbers, but it makes my formula easier in the long run. So I don't have to type my formula in each cell. Now let's take a look at our net value here. The parentheses are indicating that it's a negative number, which is not what we want. This is our money that we're taking home. We don't want it to be a negative number. So the way we fix that is by using our gross pay first. So we do want to add those two together. That is perfectly right. And we do need E3 in here. I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to put it here. Paste E3 here and then subtract those two. So we start with our gross amount. We add these two together and then subtract them. And that gives us a positive result. And then again, I can just copy down. Your numbers were right. Um, we just were trying to get it so that it's positive and not negative. You can redo this and resubmit for full points.